Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brand Bow. I am Raziel McLeod. So, in the last episode, we got the wizard's shoes and. What else did we get? Wand. His wand. So we got his shoes and wand for him and everything like that. We were able to get back to the gate and come back here. Our pills were sitting right there. But I think they were tied to a string or something. I didn't really uh, see. Oh, and what's this? Can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Oh well, yeah, most likely. I mean... That looks like writing for it. Anyways, let's see if we can find our pills. See? They're tied to a string, okay. Home? Home, I guess. It's... <laughs> My pills don't move. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, no. I shouldn't have touched the pills. Bad, friend. Bad, bad. I'm guessing we use this. Um... Uh, Fran? You're already here? Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyways, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes. I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back. You see? Really, huh? I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see... But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by... They never looked into themselves. They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Her? But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always, excuse me, I always came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you about after you imagined me? But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Should I trust him? Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you. But I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. <clears throat> I have something to show you. God damn, you are tall. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I hear clocks. Behold, the Itward flying machine. What do you think? I love it. It has many buttons to push. Yes. With this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. I love it. Oh, I already read that. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. 
That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality instead of ultra reality inside the ultra reality we can travel wherever we want to go right now we are standing on the endless limit of the second reality but you are part of the third reality do you understand yes i do understand it sounds insane but sir should i just wait until you are done fixing the machine wait of course not you can help you can help by gathering water and fire berries, right? All right. All right. All right. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water I made myself. All right. And the fire berries, you'll you'll realize which berries. Hello. To pick up because of the fire all right but sir can I ask why do you need the berries and the water ah well the berries are incredibly good fuel they last many many hours and the water is to get rid of the dirt the camelus camelus oh the camelus I see I hope they don't come around the flying machine you never know what are they? But we don't know what they don't like. <clears throat> but we do know that they don't like water. Yes. Oh, darling. I almost forgot. My machine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Invisible to eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes. Almost about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap like in one second. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go get the fire berries in the water. I'll bring. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Oh dear God! Why? So much hair and shiny, and so shiny. Oh, hello. Oh, I see the fire berries. Get out, get out. You are trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How can I, how can you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. Uh, very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody me rotten and bloody i think you are misunderstanding the situation why do you say that mr moose mr moose but i'm not a moose i'm deadly worm i'm a deadly worm deadly worm excuse me a deadly worm no no not a deadly worm a dead deadly worm I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back to the soil that creatures, oh, like a maggot and other bugs. Took from, and I don't go anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Oh, down here. Creature, can you see me? My name is Fran. Oh, there you are. You are so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask you why did you touch the moose in the first place? I didn't touch it. Normally, only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you one? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fire berries. I see. I think it is possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berries are on fire. 
You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. Yeah, but there's some right here that aren't. But I have to take them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Ew. Well, I can't get up there. Then I can't. Dear God, you look, uh... Hello. Are you those shiny insects that got stuck in the tree? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You are not one of us. I met your kind. I met your kind before. I helped them get free from curiosity ah that is very nice of you curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations yes are you stuck it's a good thing but are you stuck not at all we are just trying to make our hair the longest ever wow that sounds amazing good luck I have to go now So now I gotta find something to help with the water. It looks perfect to build a little tree house on. Get it. I shall figure it out. What's this? That's great. Wait, 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 wait. Put that in our mouth. Let's see if this will work. I need help, please. Would you allow me to use this to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? That bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. It's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your beautiful long hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie a bucket real tight. Oh, thank you. Okay. Fill up the whole bucket, please. The bucket is now full of water. Ah, thank you. Home, <clears throat> home is somewhere we all wish to belong, but does home belong somewhere? I don't understand. What? I'm sorry, I don't really understand the question. <laughs> it was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I will try to do that some other time. Bye. 
Okay. I got the berries, I guess. They will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Sir Edward, here's a bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They are nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't been into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fran. And Fran, it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. All right! How, how did he fit in there? Come on, kitty! Excuse me. We have great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are easy to recognize. Sounds strange. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to, in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'll probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say, I'd rather say, Though time you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you you have uh, not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiosityness. Curiousness. Curiosityness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself be curious and you'll always be amazed but now Fran we have to get things done talking won't get you home what thing sir the machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work here are the fire berries in the water you gathered before oh okay well just gave it to him. Why give them back to me if you're just gonna give them to me? Why didn't I just keep them? You'll need them to get water, get the water pumping, pump working again, and the fuel mixed. You'll find all information you need when you enter the other room to the left. Okay. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quiet, busy fixing the atomic driver but if you have any something to ask I'll be here never done this before hmm but I've never done this anything like this before that makes it that makes it more exciting have fun my darling all right I'll go now
this mess. Huge spinning top. Thank you. Thank you. I'm probably gonna have to grab all of this. Or, not all of it, but you know what I mean. Oh shit. Oh dear. Uh, maybe I should leave that alone. Wait! Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, or 9JM. 9JM. Alright. And 166. Oh. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. L33? Wait, what? Oops. That one goes right there. L33. Right there. Let's see, and 66. Six. This one. Right there. Okay, I already have that in there. 2PF. This is how it's done. R15. There. And A18. Well, I'll come back to that later. I'm probably gonna have to come back to that later anyways. Reality view. Ultra rude. Reality view. Okay. Hmm. No, they're not for drinking water. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's go into the other room. Telephone. Picture of uh, what's his face? Yep, Tsar. What's this? Hmm, the key holder has a key for sure. <clears throat> Maybe I was in the right room. Go back. Ah. So I do have to fix this somehow. Huh. Wait. Right. Here's the pill. Oh dear my gods. Oh dear. That is... That... Oh god.
world made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But none of the sides could decide if they were if there was just right. It was angry. Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. Edward, the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splen splendor of something or another, but they couldn't understand. Edward was a friend. Edward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Edward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. They all felt they it's all your fault, Clara. No, it's all your fault, Mia. Then Edward came to visit for one last time. And he said You are both trapped in the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have and just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. The clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing <clears throat> and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Oh. I see. in here oh dear god so, seconds hours and days yeah so I have to like wait 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 oh wait 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 a minute
Ha! like that? I don't think so. Okay, let's close that up. What's this? I have to ignite that way. <clears throat> Alright. That. This goes there. It's coming from the pipes. I can't even read that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Throw the handle down. Okay, let's go back over here. Light everything up. And that over there. That there. Do this, do this. Light that. Pull that down. Open that up. Six, six. Let's write this all down. I don't know if this is how I have it. Let's see. Uh, N one six six. Tina. Oh, and A F M. A F M. All right. So N sixteen, right there. R fifteen. 2 pf 118 or no a18 and afm oh oh dear i don't have an af afm is gone what is afm ah oh, shit okay now i got to go around looking for afm I'll try the berries. Ah! Okay. Uh, was this? Is this? Right? Which way? Up, up. This and that. Green. Let's see what else I have to do right here. I think, yeah. So <sighs> Okay. Huh. Oh good tape.
about it. We don't need to touch it, we don't need to know. Get in there then. Jeez. There we go. All green. Maybe I need the tape over here. Never mind, I don't need the tape. I need to do for it? What do I need to do? Do I need to use any of these other shits? Uh, N166. No. I mean, I got everything that I need. I just need them to start mixing. Anyways, I'll f we'll figure this out in the next episode. So, oh, so this is getting very interesting. <sighs> Either we have to find another hose for that, or try to connect them, or I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I mean, we might have to go into the next room. Yeah, might not be it. I don't know, but. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for joining me. Love y'all. Peace.